Alright folks, how's it going? So, uh, uh, yeah, excuse the mess. <laughs> I uh, have several projects on the go here. But uh, uh, most of you may know that I already own a BBC Master. Uh, it's the Master 1 to 8. Which is over there, just below the dragon, just there. So, um, I managed to get a BBC Model B which I got for free, believe it or not. Um, yeah, I got this from my good mate on Facebook who I actually got the BBC Master off. And I bought one of my uh, original Dragon disc drives off as well and several other things. Yeah, so my mate Rob, he uh, sorted me out with this BBC. Um, he had got it in for repair, didn't have time or the will to do anything with it, so he, he had basically parted it on and confirmed that it was working. So he said the guy that he got it off had said that it had released the magic smoke, which meant that the capacitors in the power supply had blown. So that was the first thing it did when it got it. I replaced the three main problem capacitors in the power supply. That's them there. Um, this is the one that actually blew. If I can show you this in a close up, if you can see a big split right up the side of it there. That's actually where it exploded and vented its toxic gas out the side there. These other two are, uh, were okay. Like, no signs of uh, any damage, but I replaced them just to, uh, out of precaution. So, along with the the BBC, I uh, ticked off one of my holy grails, or one of my most wanted, <laughs> and it was a, a cub monitor, micro V Tech cub, which is just sitting at the back there. If we can uh, get a shot of it there. Um, yep, it's hiding in the back. There's a sticker there where it says Cub. Uh, yeah, so it came yesterday at the same time as the BBC came. Um, so yeah, it's perfect. Works absolutely perfect. There's not a mark on it. It's really, really nice. I'm absolutely over the moon to get that. So it came from Rob as well, the same guy. So a huge thanks and a shout out to Rob. Um, Rob isn't on YouTube, but he's uh, got a eBay shop and he has several groups on Facebook. So his eBay shop is Micro, Micro Sprouts Game Crazed. I think that's right. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's his eBay shop. I'll uh, put a, a link down in the description to his eBay shop if you're looking for a bargain, a uh, retro based bargain. Uh, yeah, definitely check out his eBay shop. Um, and he also has a couple of uh, Spurs, he has a Spurs Repairs group, and he has a group on Facebook for his eBay shop basically. So I'll put links to them down there as well in case you're interested. So, yeah, this BBC does work, um, but it does have some, some issues. Uh, really all I've done is uh, change capacitors, and I only got this yesterday, so I changed the capacitors last night. Um, but it's, it seems to have problems locking onto the screen, getting like a, a, like a rolling picture, and then, it, and then it's fine and then it'll roll and then it's fine so it's sort of hit and miss seems to be pretty random sometimes you'll turn it on and it's perfect uh, so that seems to be the, the, the main problem is that it, it's uh, rolling doesn't seem to lock on I'm using the RGB lead I did test it with the RF cable and it did the same thing so what I'm going to do next is going to uh, reseat all the socketed chips on the board uh, this, this thing has been sitting for you know god knows how long so that'll be my first 
sort of plan of attack is to reseat all the the pins or all the sockets, all the chips in sockets. Sorry. Uh, see if that makes any difference. But apart from that, it seems to be working. Um, I, the keyboard all works, and I can run run the Hello World <laughs> basic program on it. So along with that, uh, at the same time, I bought a couple of bits for the BBC. Uh, I got a word processing package. It's called Inter InterWord. Um, so it, it comes on a, a ROM chip, which you install inside in one of the empty sockets. And we got the, the manual, the user's manual for it. So I've yet to put that in. And it also came with the insert to go in the, the clear part above the function keys there. And I also bought this uh, mouse, three button mouse for the BBC. If I can try and get that on this shot there. So uh, these are actually quite sought after, the AMX mice for the Beeb. Um, so it's, it's boxed and complete, so it has uh, several manuals. There's actually a couple of manuals inside this box as well. So it comes with an art package and a utilities a program. Um, I'll take it out of the box here and show you. So it also comes with uh, a ROM chip to install inside the Beeb and then it comes with uh, floppy disks and a cassette as well so it has a user's guide inside there and then there's a floppy disk for uh, the art program it has a utilities floppy disk and then have the uh, art program on cassette as well and then there's the the ROM chip inside the little cardboard box which I don't think I can get open with one hand oh, I managed. so it's a uh, little ROM chip installed inside it so that's basically I think the drivers for you know the mouse itself the mouse won't work without that installed and the mouse itself, I'll give you a closer look at it things in really nice condition, it's, I don't think it's been used much at all you know the whole thing, the box and the manuals and all are all in really good condition so there it is <laughs> and it has uh, a, a roller ball in it which is basically just a big steel ball bearing <laughs> uh, I know the later mice come with like a you know a rubber coating on them, but that's just a big steel ball burn, and it has three buttons. I've yet the trap, and uh, plugs into the the user port I think at the bottom of the beep. So yeah, I seen that and thought it was absolutely cool, and decided that I had to have, had to have it whether I was going to use it or not. I thought, why not? So that's the plan, is to get this BBC up and running perfectly. And then it's going to be my main machine. I do like the Master, the BBC Master, um, but it has some compatibility problems with some of the software. The majority of it works. I would say 80% work. Uh, but yeah, but, uh, oh, it was the BBC B that I used in school, which is where I have the nostalgia from. I have nostalgia f of that machine. Uh, the Master I have had never used until I actually bought that there last year. So yeah, there's all types of things happening here. Uh, what else? There was, I bought a couple of joysticks. Uh, these are uh, PC joysticks, sort of like a, almost like a flight stick. It's a quick shot. Um, has nice micro shift, micro switched switches. 
<laughs> buttons and a huge big stick, uh, centering stick. So this is, uh, like I said, for PC, um, but it has the 15 pin uh, joystick port on it which we'd plug into the back of the PC. But this actually fits the joystick port on the BBC. So what I'm hoping to do is to rewire this internally so that this works with the Beeb. So I can just plug it in and have a nice quality joystick for the BBC. I also got this other joystick at my local charity shop. It's another uh, quick shot joystick, but it's like a you know a proper flight stick. The thing's like absolutely like new. It was two quid in the local charity shop, and it has all types of adjustment and stuff on it. Uh, it has a you know, direction here, three buttons or three buttons. Yeah, that's a, actually a button as well, and a trigger. So it's the same, the 15 pin. Uh, connector on it so I'm hoping to do the same as to try and get this working with the BBC play some Elite with the proper full on joystick so I did look inside it and it's it's uh, analog uh, has you know, two potentiometer, potentiometers in it my uh, false teeth aren't working today uh, I'm problem speaking <laughs> yeah so for two quid I thought why not I'll take a punt on it really nice quality joystick so that's the plan with them is to try and rewire them and get them working on the beep I know that only one button will work on it but that's fine it's fine with me uh, what else I got a, a Pac-Man money box at the charity shop for a pound <laughs> um, Take a few coins out of it there. Um, when you put the money in, it actually makes a sound. <laughs> I thought that was good for a pound, I had to have it. So, yeah, that's my Pac Man joystick. All the money goes into that. Goes towards goes towards the collection or the the hobby basically. It's not really a collection anymore, but just the hobby. Uh, I think that's about it really for now. Anyway, this is what uh, I have been doing um, this past sort of day. Um, I'll f actually I'll fire up the cub monitor. Things are really nice for videoing the uh, the screen on them is very nice. You know, you can take a really nice picture or video of those screens. So I'll plug it into the master and I'll fire it up and give you a look at the quality of it. So the my master has a turbo MMC SD card solution thing in it. So I have uh, I don't know several hundred games. Uh, I fire up my favorite game here if I can remember what page it's on. So as you can see, really, really nice quality screen. Um, I'm not sure if this was part of the BBC specification that these screens were good. You know, we were able to record these if the camera would focus. So as you can see, there's no flickering the way you would get from a normal CRT. And these are a TTL RGB connection on these. 
So it's RGB, but it's like a digital RGB as far as you can make out. Absolutely over the moon with that monitor. It's uh, something I've wanted for a while since I've got the, the master basically. Um, so really really happy to get one and I had to get it posted across from the mainland obviously. So I'm really happy that it arrived intact. Um, Rob sent it next day, special delivery basically. Uh, via DHL actually was the carrier. Um, and it arrived perfectly, but uh, that's mostly due to Rob's fantastic packaging. There was like three rolls of bubble wrap around that thing inside a huge cardboard box. So that's it, just uh, randomness really here. Just fancied making a video and talking some shit. So there you go. Catch you in the next one guys. Bye for now.